Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so if you guys don't know, this weekend was super lit in L.A., okay? Basically, Jake Paul threw this huge party for designer. It was for his 22nd birthday, and everybody named Mama was there. Everybody from Chris Brown to Lamar Odom to Sway Lee. The homegirl Bella Thorne came through. She had a good old time. So a lot of people have been talking about this party. Trey Songz was there. You know, the who's who of L.A. were all at Jake Paul's damn house for this party, okay? Bro. <laughs> Calm for the storm. Thor, buddy, what do you think, man? It's gonna be good, right? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the dopest fucking party ever. Hey, hey. 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 Call me Young Dan, but I think I talked to him. I told y'all it was hey, a birthday party. Yeah. party in the motherfucking LA. Yes, yes, on the Western Hemisphere, yes, happy birthday, man. Yes, 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 yes. You already know. Yes, you already know. Yes, you already know. Yes, Round two. 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 We out here, man. Motherfucking check what the fuck it is, brother. You already know. You already know. <laughs> I might go drop the hey. album once. While this party was going on, something was amiss at Chris Brown's house. So if you guys do not know, there's some woman who's basically stalking Chris Brown. And so she showed up at Chris Brown's house outside his gate. And she was throwing Bibles over the fence and talking to herself and screaming and just acting a fool. He's ungodly. Dark at it. I'm glad you're home. Get the hell out of my house. In Jesus' name, I pray. And so, you know, Chris Brown's neighbors was like, I don't know who the fuck this crazy bitch is. And then she had a child with her. They end up calling the police, okay? So the police get there and they see this strange woman with her preteen son. And they go and they confront her. And they get this story from this woman. She's basically telling law enforcement that she flew all the way from her hometown in Texas with her 13-year-old child in hopes of convincing Chris Brown to lift a voodoo curse off of her son. She's saying that she felt the presence of the Bible on his lawn would help lift the curse. And that's why she was throwing Bibles over the gate. So the police are trying to figure out, well, why would she do all this? Why would she fly, you know, to Texas with her child? And she's talking about voodoo curses and all this shit. The police basically feel like she has mental illness and they've since, you know, locked her up. She's not going to be in jail or anything, but I think they sent her to like a mental hospital to get her evaluated. Um, they also took her son into protective custody as well. The good thing for Chris Brown, he wasn't directly involved because he happened to be at designer's party that was being thrown at Jake Paul's house, so he wasn't there. He didn't find out about this until afterwards, but the whole situation is just insane. If you guys recall, a few years back in 2015, I had did the story on this, when a woman broke into Chris Brown's home, and she vandalized his place, and Chris Brown was saying at that time that the woman left a bunch of voodoo shit in his house, and Chris Brown found her laying naked in his bed. So I don't know what it is about Chris Brown's house and people coming through, you know, claiming voodoo or leaving voodoo at his house. Uh, fuck. And people. <laughs> That's really what the fuck I want to know. What the fuck is going on? So, you know, the whole situation is crazy because, again, like I said, this happened in 2015. Now, fast forward a few years later, here goes another woman talking about Chris Brown and did some voodoo to them, and they're trying to get Chris Brown to take it off. So, I don't know. There's a lot of strange folks out here with a lot of issues. You know, just thank goodness that nothing bad happened. Thank goodness she didn't burn the house down or do some insane shit like that. 
But in other news that went down at the party, okay? If you guys do not know, this is going viral this morning. They're saying that there was a woman who claimed that she was drugged at Jake Paul's party for designer. Now, like I told y'all, the who's who of L.A. was there, including Chris Brown. Jeff, we're talking about very serious allegations about drinks being spiked during a party being put on by YouTuber Jake Paul. Now, his home does sit uh, behind these gates in this very quiet Calabasas community. It was a Facebook post by one of the victim's mothers that is giving details about what may have happened here. Like what? Videos from Jake Paul's Instagram show the massive party at the YouTube star's home Saturday night. Watch as party goers witness a boxing match in the backyard while dozens more pack inside the home. But tonight this party has sparked an investigation by the sheriff's department. According to a Facebook post made by one of the victim's mother, her daughter allegedly ended up in the hospital with eight other girls who had been drugged. The post goes on to say something was put in their drinks. The girls were all half naked and unable to walk or talk. They were made to sign a disclaimer at the door. LA sheriffs are investigating one report of unwillful impairment at Paul's home. In a statement, they said in part, detectives are in the beginning stages of information gathering for the incident. The sheriff's department treats allegations such as these seriously and will use all known resources to investigate. The LAFD confirmed they did take two women in their 20s to the hospital for minor medical conditions. A neighbor was also taken to the hospital. While she didn't want to go on camera, the neighbor shared this photo of her bruised face after she says she fell when one of the partygoers tried to get inside her home. That neighbor has since punched charges against the man. Well, we just saw someone bring out some large equipment that was used for the party. He told us it looks like they're still tearing things down from that massive party held here on Saturday night. We did reach out to uh, Paul's representative. We have yet to hear back. We also reached out to a representative for rapper designer. We're told this party was for his birthday. We have yet to hear back from his people as well. That's the latest from Calabasas. Leslie Manning, back to you. So this is what they're reporting as of 2 o'clock this afternoon. They're saying Jake's attorney, Larry Steen, told TMZ, we take this claim very seriously and we are working with authorities to make absolutely sure that we do our part to uncover the truth. Jake Paul hosted a massive party for designer's birthday and one female guest says that things got out of control. Someone drugged her and now the cops are investigating. Law enforcement tells TMZ that the police were contacted Sunday about a possible unwillful impairment. We're told that the cops were looking into whether the alleged victim, a female in her early 20s, unknowingly took something that severely impaired her. The investigation is in its early stages. Law enforcement is asking anyone with information to reach out to L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Important to note, neither Jake nor designer is accused of anything. We reached out to Jake's reps, but we heard no word back. Our sources say that the paramedics made multiple calls to the house during the party, one shortly before midnight for a sick person transported to the hospital. Another call was made for the same thing around 1 a.m., and a third call happened around 3 a.m. for an adult who fell and got injured. Now, they're also saying, you know, on top of there being security there, they're also saying that there was a retired sheriff's deputy that was there, and there were 38 guards on site to check IDs. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see if anything comes of this a lot of folks are saying that this girl's probably just looking for attention nothing happened to her there was tight knit security you know you just never know so at this point i'm gonna keep my eye on this damn story and i'm gonna just see how it plays out you know hopefully nobody put anything in her drink hopefully nobody assaulted her but you know things like this can happen at parties like that even with security and that's why i always tell young girls when you go to a party and you get drinks i don't care if it's liquor if it's juice Keep your cup with you at all times, okay? Keep your cup with you. Put a napkin on top of it so that way can't nobody mess with it. You know, keep your cup in your hand. Take it with you to the restroom if you need to. Drink before you go into the restroom. But you never, you know, drink from your glass and then set it down and then come back and get that same glass because you never know who's watching you, who's watching your moves. You know, somebody could be watching you sip from your glass and set it down. Then you turn your head or you look away and they come and slip something in your drink. So you have to be highly vigilant when it goes to partying. And sometimes people get more relaxed when there's celebrities involved because it's like, oh, I'm around.
find celebrities. I know them. I listen to their music. I watch them on YouTube. But like I always tell you, that does not mean anything. You do not know these people personally. And some of these people can really do things to you. So you have to be very, I would say be even more vigilant when you go to celebrity parties. Because that's when people tend to let their guards down. Because they feel like they know these people when they don't technically know them. So just be vigilant. Just be careful. You know what I'm saying? Watch your drinks and hopefully nothing comes of this. Um, so anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. First, concerning Chris Brown and the woman coming to his house, you know, basically accusing him of putting voodoo on her child. And then also the woman at Designer's Party coming out and saying that she was drugged. So it's very interesting that both of these weird occurrences happened around Designer's birthday party. I just found that really strange. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.